Hey, what is up everybody, Epithemy here, and today I got another CSGO video for you guys, and today we're going to be going over 5 tips for the Glock. Now, we're going to be using these in the pistol rounds, rather than using them in eco rounds, because you're really not going to use the Glock unless you have no money when it comes to an eco round. So, the first tip that I have is honestly pretty standard for any gun, and what you really want to do, but it's more standard for the Glock, because the Glock has no damage. You want to aim for the head. You always want to aim for the head. You don't really want to hit body shots. You can if you can't hit them in the head, but you always want to go for the head no matter what. Because especially on pistol rounds, since they have no head armor, if you are close enough and stuff, you can get the one tap headshot. Um, that will honestly help out a lot. And you're really going up against USPs and P2Ks. They one tap headshot no matter what. So you don't want to be sitting there giving them time to still be able to hit you in the head while you're just sitting there trying to shoot them in the body so you definitely always want to aim for the head now the next tip that i have for you guys is no one to spray or tap and the reason being you really don't want to tap the whole time you don't want to stand still and just sit there and try and tap shot because you're going against usps and p2ks they'll just hit you once in the head while you hit them a few times in the body or maybe you know, just not kill them with a headshot for some reason. But, I mean, you you just don't want to stand there and tap. What you want to do is, I mean, the Glock is still pretty accurate while running and gunning. Not like it used to be, but if you're running and tapping with, like, a couple seconds in between, it'll still be more accurate than just running and spraying. But there is a distance. When you start to get close to them, you really can run up to them and just spray. But as you're running... You want to tap and then wait a few seconds in between tap, wait a few seconds, tap, wait a few seconds, tap, wait a few seconds, tap. Because it will still be more accurate than just running and spraying and whatnot. And it will also make you a harder target for them to hit because you are still running around and not just standing there doing nothing. Now, the next tip that I have for you guys is when it comes to shoulder peeking and running and gunning. Now, shoulder peeks... I mean, it really depends on how your team's going to play for the pistol round. If your team wants to just burst out, then you're fine. But if you're trying to round a corner and you want to get information real fast, you might want to shoulder peek rather than just running right out because the people with the, the CTs with the USPs and the P2Ks honestly will have a good line of sight on you compared to like T side. So like say you're coming out of, uh, you're not rushing out of tons, but you have a few guys in tons and then there's a few guys going cat and you want to check and see where they are. You definitely want a shoulder peek. You don't want to just run out there and die. Now, when it comes to running and gunning, you really want to do this most of the time with the clock because you really are going to be bursting onto sites rather than just trying to get picks in pistol rounds. So you definitely want to do run and gun more, but there's certain situations where you definitely want a shoulder peek. I definitely want to bring that up because shoulder peeks help out a lot, not only on pistol rounds and when you're using the Glock, but on CT rounds when you're using the US USPS or the P2K or any other round at that. Shoulder peeks really do help out a lot, so I just wanted to mention that. The next tip that I have for you guys is no one to burst. There are certain, certain situations when you burst, you don't want to use the burst all the time. Now, say if you are playing Dust 2 B site, you have window smoked off, you know you've heard the guy come tons, you know that your teammate hit him for 50 or something like that, you are close tons, that's when you can use the burst fire. That's just one example. So if you know they're hurt and they're, you're close range, you can use the burst fire. But even if they're not hurt and you are close range, you really want to use, well you can, you don't want to, but you can use the burst fire and hopefully hit them in the head because to be honest that will definitely kill them. Now. There are just definitely situations when you want to burst and situations when you want to tap shot. Now, if that guy was running tons, you are kind of decently far away and he can't just one tap you. You definitely want to be able to have it on automatic so you can just run and gun. I mean, that's really it. Now, the last tip that I have for you guys is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. You definitely want to warm up with the Glock. You definitely want to play with the Glock more. Um, I mean, uh, other ways that you can play pistol rounds. There are so many strats for pistol rounds and things like that. But you definitely want to practice if you're solely going to use the Glock. All right, guys. My name is Epithemy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope some of these tips helped you guys out. And I'll catch you guys with another video tomorrow.
Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like. If you guys want to see more videos, definitely be sure to click one of the links in the description to go watch more of my videos. If you guys always want to see more, then definitely be sure to subscribe. My name is Epithme. I'll catch you guys later.